What if there was a gap between what was actually happening in any situation and what our mind was telling us about what was happening? What if in that gap, that's where suffering existed? And if we could recognize that gap instantly in a single moment with one little trick, could that be the end to any suffering? Hello, welcome, this is Unpack with Jack. And on this channel, we like to talk about the human experience. This is a technique that I learned from Eckhart Tolle the great Eckhart Tolle. And it's something that has saved me many, many times. And it's something that I wish I'd known a lot sooner. If I'd known this as a young man, it would have saved me a lot of unnecessary suffering. But it's very, very simple. It's very effective and it's very powerful. And it's something that I believe anybody can do at any moment. That's the beauty of it. What you do is, in any situation, whenever you're feeling any kind of emotion, negative emotion, sadness, upset, fear, anger, Take a moment and ask yourself this question. How would I be experiencing this moment if I did not add my thoughts to it? And what that question does, I think, is it invites you to the present moment and it invites you to recognize the difference between the present moment and the thoughts that are adding something to it. I'll give you an example. I've had ongoing challenges, shall we say, with health anxiety. And any of you that have had health anxiety will know it's essentially where you feel any kind of small pain symptom in your body and you think that it's a big thing. You think that you're dying. Anyway, I was walking home the other day and I wasn't feeling very well. And my mind was telling me all kinds of... <laughs> and so I applied this technique. I asked myself, how would I be experiencing this situation if I wasn't adding my thoughts to it? What I came up with was that while I'd be feeling the sensations in my body. I was feeling a bit nauseous, although even nauseous as a word is a, is a concept that us humans have come up with and it has all of this meaning attached to it. I had a sensation in my stomach and I had a headache, a sensation in my head. And that was it. My thoughts were telling me I'm going to have to go and see a doctor. I'm never going to get an appointment. I'm going to be diagnosed with some horrible illness. I'm going to have to be hospitalized. I'm going to have to be away from my family. I might die. And once you abstract all of those thoughts away and you're left with just the situation, I immediately felt this sense of freedom, the open expansiveness of the present moment. I could apply this technique right now because I'm very self-conscious about filming out in public. I feel that people are looking at a guy with a camera thinking, oh, there's just another vlogger. There's an influencer uh, who's avoiding any real responsibility, any real jobs. Whereas if I ask myself, how would I be experiencing this moment if I wasn't adding that thought to it? There's, it would be fine. <laughs> it would be great. Now that doesn't necessarily make the thoughts go away. But what it does do is start to create that gap between the thoughts and the reality because the thoughts, they're not real in a way. They're a story. How that story is formed and why that story is formed, well, we can make a whole other video about that in terms of the psychodynamics of how you think about yourself and your past and your upbringing and how that all contributes to a thought. But ultimately, it doesn't change the fact that the thoughts, they aren't really real. What's real is I'm a guy walking in a park with a phone. Hmm. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't have any huge issue with thinking per se. I, I, I'm a fan of thinking, but honestly, I think we think too much. I know I do. We don't need to think anywhere near as much as we do. And thinking often just kind of gets in the way. So what this technique does, what this question does, it really highlights how much of our thinking negatively affects the current situation, how it it punctuates the now, the present moment. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you. And if there's one takeaway, there's one thing that you can challenge yourself, just do it once today. In any situation you find yourself in, just ask that question. How would this situation be different if I wasn't adding my own thoughts to it? Be curious with what the answer is. I think you might be surprised. Thank you very much for watching. Do all the YouTube things like subscribe, share, etc. There's one, two, three, four, five dogs. One of them's coming over to say hello. Oh no, just doing a wee. I wanna unpack that with Jack. I'll be right back. When you drink some
moi.